Thai food has given Thailand a distinct identity. People around the world recognize the uniqueness of Thai food, a culinary culture that has come down to us from ancient times. Thai food is regarded as one of the national cultural identities of Thai people. Bu Elephant Restaurant, Thai Royal Cuisine and Cooking School is one world famous Thai restaurant. It has built a reputation for its authentic brand of Thai food at home and abroad, with bunches in Thailand and overseas. Bu Elephant's restaurants can be found in Bangkok and Phuket in Thailand and in Malta and Copenhagen, Denmark in Europe. The father of this premium brand is Chef Nuro Sotmani Steppe and her husband Belgium Carl Steppe. Chef Nuro, nice to meet you, Ka. Welcome to the Blue Elephant Cooking School and Restaurant. Oh, my pleasure. And this building is really beautiful and attractive. Can you tell me about the history of this Actually, building? Actually, this house is over 100 years old and protected by art department. Mm -hmm. And belong to the Chinese Chong de Commerce. Mm -hmm. Yes, can I see the second yes, inside? Yes, we would like to show you around. Okay, go together. Wow, Chef and Kami, the aroma is very good. How the COVID situations Actually, for the uh, blue elephants? Now, is the when the the Thailand is open, we have the customer back. We are very happy that mm -hmm. our brand is very strong. So we are very happy that a lot of customer think about us, miss us, mm -hmm. they, they all come back. I have heard that have full booking every day, right? For the moment, yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Today is a great chance I have to taste the blue elephant food. If about the food, who is prepared for me? I will take care of you because oh, the food is my specialty. Thank you very much. And how about the business operation? Oh, I will give you to Kevin, my nephew. He's a young generation who look after the marketing. Kevin Somani is Chef Nero nephew, born and raised in Brussels, Belgium. He recently returned to Thailand to inhabit the second generation management of Blue Elephant Restaurant. Swadika. Swadika. How is Blue Spy and Blue Elephant in this time? It's an incredible time because now the country has reopened, the tourists are back, so the restaurant is full almost every day. And when it comes to the export of our products, it's people still keep on cooking abroad. Mm -hmm. So the interest of Thai products is still growing. So Right now we are in Bu Elephant restaurant. How many branches in around the world? So in total, we now have four branches left. So the one in Bangkok, mm -hmm. Phuket, Malta, and Copenhagen in Denmark. Uh, we also have two other restaurants in Thailand called Monkey Pods and Thai Brasserie. I wonder one thing about Thai food because the other thing is must be spy a little bit, right? But you expand the restaurant to many countries and make the blue spy to serve the kitchen at home. But how about the taste? You adapt the taste to fit in each customer group? So the funny thing is that actually we don't adapt the taste. Oh, really? Yes, because it's, it's part of our core value to to provide authentic Thai food. Mm -hmm. So, and we do have some complaints of customers abroad, you oh. know, that, that for example, ask, why can you not make the green curry less spicy? Right. But do you know the, the color green from the green curry comes from the, the green spice? Mm -hmm. So we, if we make it less spicy, it's not green anymore. Uh -huh. So what we usually tell them is you can always add a bit more coconut cream. Mm. But for us, we use the same recipe, whether you, they buy blue elephant in the USA or in Europe or in Thailand, it's exactly the same. Oh, Thai people is like this, but the spice is same like the authentic that you offer exactly. in Thailand as well. Thailand has so many, many ingredients mm -hmm. and we source our product 100% in Thailand. For us, we also have a very close connection with the suppliers and mm -hmm. there's no complication about import. Like everything is made with the products of Thailand and we export abroad. This is why we see ourselves also as one of the ambassadors of Thai culinary uh, gastronomy. And how the strengths of Boost Spy is differentiated from other competitors in the business? One of our most unique features and our biggest strength is the involvement of mm -hmm. the, the chef. 
mm -hmm. uh, Chef Nouraud, as whether it's for the restaurant menu or the recipe of the curry paste, she's involved in the daily operation. Mm -hmm. So she can make sure that blue elephant and blue spice is at the standard of excellency mm -hmm. and it never changes. And I think that this connection between restaurant and mm -hmm. factory keeps us at a very high level. Oh, thank you, my pleasure. And what is this, Chef? Can you eat the recipe and the picture about Thai ingredients? Mm, oh, interesting. So, can I start to yeah, learn with you? Yeah, please come here. Okay. This year for you. Mm -hmm. yes, okay, let's start. Are you ready? Yeah. So today I'm going to show you how to make tom kha gai. My, my favorite recipe. menu as well. Yes. How special of menu tom kha gai from Blue Elephant? Ah, uh, totally different because in my tom kha gai you can eat all the herbs. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But actually, for me, herb is have a lot of herb benefits. That's why we even see my recipe will be mm -hmm. different from normal tom kha gai. Yeah. So first thing I start to make a chicken broth. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken so, bone mm -hmm. and herbs. Mm -hmm. Then back to the recipe. I have the garlic. Garlic, yeah. Fried shallot. I'm mm -hmm. going to pour them, turn to In the paste. Mortar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then uh, some chili for the spiciness. A little bit, little right? Bit. And mm -hmm. then we have here lemongrass. 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 Kalanka is the, the star of this mm -hmm. recipe. Yeah. So I have to pour everything mm -hmm. and then coriander oh. root. Very smell. Good. It's different mm -hmm. from other recipes. Food. Very important to represent Thailand. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's is Tom Kha Gai. Tom Kai, blue elephant Not style. difficult to make, very easy. Even I never cooked this menu before. Okay, then I'm garnish with a bit of Sesame chili oil. Chili oil, chili oil, oil. Yeah, to make a nice oil. color. Mm. Look, that's more delicious. Tom Kha. Well. Because it's smooth, it has salt a little bit, yeah. but not bitter. Yeah. It's really good menu. It's yeah. Very interesting uh, menu. Actually, uh, this dishes is the lovers of the people who uh, not not foreigner. And it's real authentic menu for Tom Kai. As you are the teacher, what is your inspiration to open the school? Because your business is success, mm. but you still teach for the way to Actually, cook. I'm very proud as the on this person, I like to share my knowledge to the young generation or people who want oh, to great. have the skin in Thai cuisine. Mm -hmm. And I think Thai cuisine, Thai cuisine should be a kitchen to the world. Blue Elephant has long time for the journey. What is inspire you that Blue Elephant's success in today? I think my truly partner and uh, Mr. Khan Steppe, mm -hmm. and he's the legend of, uh, I would say, Thai cuisine who back up on the Blue Elephant since 42 years. If Chef Nura is the body and appearance of Blue Elephant Restaurant, her husband Carl is like the soul of this world-famous Thai restaurant. In a rare open-hearted interview, Carl Steppe speaks to the nation team. Today is a very great opportunity that I with Kun Carl Steppe. I think you are the real starter of the Blue Elephant. Why the Blue Elephants? Well, two questions. Number one, you say that I'm the real starter. Actually, no, it's uh, Chef Nouraud, who's the heart and the soul of the blue elephant. And then, why a blue elephant? For two reasons. Because before, in old Thailand, when Thailand was called Siam, mm -hmm. in the flag of uh, Siam, in the center was the elephant. 
Yeah. So the elephant is very, very Thai. It's a symbol. Why mm -hmm. blue? Mm -hmm. Number one, because we make royal Thai cuisine. So blue is the color of the royalty. Mm -hmm. And number two, when you walk in the street and you see an elephant who's blue, mm -hmm. you never forget. Yeah. Blue elephant is success like today. How do you proud to your wife, Chef Nuro? Oh, I'm very jealous. Pom Icha, Pom Hung Nit, like Kun Thai, Tu Kun Thai, Hung and Icha Nit Noi Do It. Serious, I'm serious. I become already half Thai. Yeah. And how do you feel for the success today for Blue Elephants? I think success you have to fight every day. Mm. Success is something that come and go. Right. And uh, I think today, for our success of tomorrow, mm -hmm. we have to fight today. Mm. And uh, I think I try still to inspire to my son uh, Kim, who's uh, at the funeral of our collaborator in Phuket today, mm -hmm. to my daughter Sandra, who's for the moment working with the Belgian TV in uh, Brussels, and uh, to my son Chris, who's running the monkey pot, and to my nephew uh, Kevin, who's running the blue spice, I try to inspire them that, you know, you build your future today, you don't build it in the future. You grow in the food environment with Chef New Rolls, and today you have to operate and manage everything about your business. How do you feel? I feel very uh, lucky and grateful. You know, it's, uh, it's incredible because a lot of people recognize Blue Elephant. A lot of, especially people abroad, they all recognize Blue Elephant. And uh, I think I, I, I'm in an environment where I get exposed to a lot of opportunities, a lot of people from all backgrounds. And there's only learning. For mm -hmm. I think not just me, but for everyone around, there's a lot of learning. And that learning can be translated into more value for the company that we can translate for the customer. But as you are the young bird, a new generation for the blue elephants, so what is your dream or your pathway to drive the blue elephant to be the world cuisine in the future? So, you know, when the blue elephant started out in Belgium and as a kid, I used to go there very often because I love the food there. And the, it was also a first date for many people. They would bring it to blue elephant and many countries around the world don't have a blue elephant yet. Mm. So if we could have a blue elephant in every big city of the world, that would be amazing. So especially in the authentic taste from the blue exactly. elephants. Yes. Eating Thai food is not just a taste of Thai deliciousness, but it's the art and the Thai culture that has inherited since ancient time. It represents Thai people as civilized nation that it is more into a unique Thai identity that people around the world are fascinated by the taste of Thailand that you will not forget it. Thank you for watching Business Story with me, Opa Varasuda from the nation, and see you in next episode. Sadika. Mm -hmm.